Well, hello there, friends. This is Gina Scalpone and Baby Swan coming in May of 2022. This is my weekly Ask Me Anything show. And I show up every single Monday at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time to help all of you small business owners, hairstylists, makeup artists, photographers, nutritionists. I want to help you grow your business. I want to help you become a happier business owner because the thing is so many small business owners specifically hairstyles because I'm a hairstylist and I talk to hundreds and hundreds of you they are just not happy they're burned out they know there's a better way but they don't know how to get there necessarily some of them are starting over that's why I want to do this training tonight on starting over people are picking up and moving across the country moving across the state so they're starting over but yet they had the experience of being a stylist for years so guess what happens you can't do things the way you used to do what got you here won't get you there. I always teach people that inside my programs and I remind myself that of that often. If I wanna to get to the next step in my business, whatever's been working so far is probably not gonna work anymore. So I'm directly talking to those of you who I've been in DMs with and we've been in comments in this group about starting over. Even though you're a veteran stylist, or even if you're a brand new stylist, you're only one, two years in the business, you're just starting. So first I wanna give you a little bit of motivation. I wanna give you some inspiration. I wanna give you some action steps on what you could do to start building up your clientele again. So first of all, let's just start with you are trying. I was just messaging with a stylist earlier in this group and she said, man, it's kind of hard to start over. The thing is, she's been a stylist for a long time, but she moved four hours away. So she's basically starting all over again. It's so understandable because as seasoned stylists, I've been a stylist for 26 years. I've had my own company for 11 years. We, 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 are, we do, um, rely on word of mouth. But the thing is, that's not the only way to go anymore. Our clients, our potential clients are savvy. They're online, they're looking at reviews, they're looking at other stylists in the area to see who they, they're shopping around. So you have to show up online if you wanna survive and thrive and be a happy business owner, and especially if you're starting over or you're brand new. So that's one thing. I just want you to have your mindset around, one, you're doing a great job. You're starting from scratch, so you're outside the box. You're very uncomfortable on most days, probably, and that's okay. That's exactly where you're supposed to go for growth, so that's number one. Number two, it's okay to start over, and you just have to consider changing your mindset on what got you here won't get you there. My suggestion is to get your marketing strategy online. I call it right and tight. We're going to talk about that in a minute. I'm going to give you a few strategies and ideas of things to get going and get started uh, in the new year. This is at the time of this recording. It's the end of December 2021. These are going to be great ideas and strategies of things you could work on in a few weeks, right? If you take a few days off of work after the new year, these are great things to start implementing into your business. It will work for all of you, even those of you who are book solid, even those of you who are overwhelmed and have clients coming out of your ears and your wait list is two months long. I'm going to help you with that today. I want your life to be easier. I don't want you to be stressed out running around like a crazy person. I only want you to have people in your chair that light you up. I only want you charging the prices that you feel you deserve. I want you to feel confident in that. And then I want you to be doing services that you like okay so we're going to talk about this we're going to talk about marketing just the basics of marketing i think most of you know what marketing is in a nutshell you're advertising something online you're promoting something online and it's not necessarily online but i'm going to teach how to do it online here because i think it's really important and again i know a lot of you are starting over so you got to start somewhere why not start with free platforms like Facebook, like Instagram, like TikTok, to promote your awesomeness. You just have to get out of your comfort zone, get out of your little comfort box, and try something different. I have a free Reels tutorial. If you want that uh, link, uh, comment below and just say, yes, I want the Reels tutorial. I have a TikTok how-to tutorial. I have so many guides that can help you show up online. But we're going to talk about some of the basic marketing stuff right here in this training during Ask Me Anything. So I hope you guys are super excited. So one, we're going to change our mindset. We're going to pat ourselves on the back for starting over and not giving up. One, 
Two, we're going to remind ourselves or tell ourselves, what got me here won't get me there. I need to change my mind around marketing. It's not just about word of mouth anymore. I still think that's super important. I get plenty of clients through word of mouth, but I work really hard six to seven days a week on 13 different platforms to show up, to show my expertise, whether it's my programs that I train or the hair that I do or the wigs that I sell, things like that. This is a wig from Glam Harris. It's brand new, super fun. My hair is way shorter and way thinner and uh, not purple, naturally. So um, I talk about that kind of stuff too. I talk about the things I sell and the, and the services that I offer. So let's just talk about social media, for example. Let's just use uh, Instagram. Reels is on Instagram. It's like videos you could create. They're under 60 seconds. That's like a before and after picture on steroids. I want you guys to really consider creating reels and TikToks. They're really, really similar. So it's good to have video in our industry, in the beauty world, because we can show it's so much, so much of it is, is visual. So a reels, for example, you could create a five second video of your client coming in. Just five seconds, ask your client if it's okay. This is her before here, it's all sketchy and looking crazy. Then you create a video of the process, whether it's a perm, whether it's a keratin treatment, whether it's color, highlights, whatever it is, and then you cr create the last five seconds of the end result. It could just be the back of her head. It doesn't have to be her face. You don't have to tag her. That's such an easy way that could take an extra couple minutes of your day, five seconds when she first sits down, five seconds when she's processing, another five seconds at the end result. Add some music, put it on your reels. Instagram, for example, they index people who use Reels. They want people using Reels. Why? They're in competition with TikTok. They want people using the same type of video form that TikTok is, which is Reels. So get in the habit of doing that. Like I said, um, if you want a free tutorial on how to create Reels for your business, comment below and I'd be happy to send that link to you. So that's one example of what you could do. I want you to get in the habit. Another thing is, you're gonna call, I call this the five minute buffer. Uh, strategy. I want you to get in the habit. Create five minutes in between each client. I don't care. Again, this training is for those brand new people, someone who moved four hours across the state and they're a stylist, they've been doing hair for a long time, but they got to start over. I want you to create time in between your appointments. Let's just say you have three clients in one day. Create a five minute buffer so you can make sure you ask that client, hey, are you on Instagram? Are you on Facebook? Get them to follow you while they're in your chair. One, and number two, I want you taking before and after pictures of every client, every client that says it's okay. Because I want you to have a, 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 a an arsenal of pictures and videos and content in your phone saved so you have no excuse not to post. Inside my programs, I have a nine week group implementation program and a membership. I encourage my students to show up on social every day of the week. I don't care if you're doing a quick little boomerang on your Instagram stories. I don't care if you're going on Facebook and just posting a one after picture of the hair and saying something about it. I don't care if you're showing what you do on your days off. I don't care if you're talking about your favorite recipe. Show up on social. It's a free platform. So back to the five minute buffer routine. Make sure you're giving yourself those few minutes in between appointments. Set yourself up to win, not to lose. Um, and give yourself five minutes in between appointments. So I hear often people say, especially when they're busy and they're booked up. I don't have time to take pictures or I always forget, but now's the time to change that habit. It's a new year. It's a great way to start over, start fresh, try something new in your business. So let's just re let's just back up. Let me repeat a few things. One, we're going to have the, our mindset is we're starting over. We're doing the best we can. We still want to be in this game. We're not giving up. Number two, you're going to change your mindset. Marketing is different. It's almost 2022. In my opinion, my strong opinion is if you're not marketing online, coming up the game, game strategy, a strategy, a game plan showing up, your business will not survive. Now, you could be book solid and not showing up online. You get everybody word of mouth. That's great but your body will break down. You need to eventually raise your prices. If you're doing here 25 years, you shouldn't be behind the chair 60 hours a week making the income that you want. There's so many ways to be strategic online to get those clients to buy more product and refer their friends and attract new people. Okay, so we're gonna try things different. We're gonna show up on a social platform. Pick one, pick your favorite. Pick the one that you think your cl ideal client is on. Start showing up on there regularly. You're gonna create reels, 
or TikToks, videos, or even videos, go live. I'm live right now. Go live, talk, show how you curl your hair, show how you put a wig on, show how you tease the hair, show uh, like when you're live at the salon, show what you're doing with your client. I want you creating visuals. I want you showing up daily. If you're showing up zero right now, try to show up a couple days a week. I would say give yourself a goal. Eventually say in a month from now, by the end of January, I'm gonna be showing up daily on social. Just pick one platform. I don't care what it is. And then you're gonna make sure you create that five minute buffer in between appointments so that you can get those pictures and you can make sure those clients are on the say you guys are on the same social media account. So when you're showing something on Facebook, let's say, a before and after picture, you can you can hope that they there's a there's a possibility that they'll see it. If you tag them in the picture, then it goes to their page and their friends will see it. So it's such an easy way in between clients at the end of the day before you start work just to get your social media and your marketing game on point. So I, I'm highly recommending and strongly urging you to think outside the box and know that showing up online, for example, a free platform like Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, those are great places to start out to work on your marketing skills. That's like marketing beginning stages <clears throat> inside my programs. Excuse me, I teach marketing like several stages after that, but I want you to at least start doing that. If you're starting over, that means you probably don't have a, a busy book of clients. So you have plenty of time now to get in the habit, showing up online, asking those handful of clients that are in your chair, what social media platforms they're on, taking pictures, taking videos, doing tutorials on your own hair or your friend's hair, or if your client lets you do it, and getting that stuff online. I want you to know that marketing online is so important. I created an entire program around it, but I believe it to be to the core of my being from my own experience. All of my students have gone through my programs, have created more income, and they're not working any more hours behind the chair. So my goal in life is to teach other people other small business owners, specifically stylists, I have a soft spot for them. I'm a hairstylist still, 26 years, like I said earlier. And I just don't want you standing behind the chair all these hours, breaking your back, hurting your neck, arm, carpal tunnel, all the things. I want you making more money by strategically marketing yourself online. These are just a few examples of things that I teach inside my program and what I just shared today. I want you making more money and being happier. I want you to take that creativity that's in here and here and not only share it behind the chair, I want you to share it online. I want you to create a video. I want you to create posts. I want you to share your clients before, during, and after videos on Reels. Reels get so much um, so many views. I get way more attention on my reels than any other posts. That's why I'm always creating reels. Actually, right before this training, I, cr I recorded two reels because I'm camera ready. So I want you all to get in that habit. So comment below if you want a freebie to a tutorial on a reels, how to create reels for your business. And I want you to comment below, what questions do you have for me regarding marketing, regarding showing up online? And another thing, if you wanna be featured on my Ask Me Anything show, also comment below or send me a private message and I'd be happy to feature you. I hope you all have a great night. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. I hope you enjoy some time off with your friends and family and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Mwah.